Wire, Wire Lady TV every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. I, for some reason, wasn't signed into my YouTube account and had to change my password, la yada yada yada. So I'm here. How is everybody today? Uh, thank you everybody for um, filling out the poll about which zodiac sign we're going to do today. So today the winner is Scorpio, just by a smidge. So we're going to do Scorpio today and then next week I'll do another poll and we'll choose who will come next week or maybe I'll just stick with the poll we have and just knock them out as we go. So that sounds good. Hi Valerie, how are you? Nice to see you. And Mustafa, hey Mustafa, I'm so happy you're here because Amber cannot be here today. So that's wonderful that you're here. Very happy. Hi Ajab, how are you? Nice to see you. And uh, we have, oh, Limonef, Limone, sorry, I can't even read the, the name from here, and Almond, uh, Almond Milk, hi, and Didi, fantastic. So guys, I'm gonna, and Jaden, hi Jaden, and Easily, cool. So I'm gonna flip the screen and get started right away. We are doing zodiac signs on the live streams for the next probably about nine more weeks after this. I'm gonna try to do all the zodiac signs we did already. Um, uh, Leo and what was the other one did we did comment if you remember what was the other one we did we did Leo already and we're going to do Scorpio today so let me flip the screen and we're going to get going so Jaden's a Scorpio fantastic hi Sharon nice to see you let me flip my screen and I'm on my iPod there's my there's my neighbor's house you can't see their address that's good so now I bring the screen down here so we can see the table and oh i have to just make sure it's positioned properly so i have to just adjust just bear with me while i adjust this i'm actually going to pull up the screen a little bit this is the part where i have to arrange this so i can see what's in the screen so this is going to be my hands this is what we're working on today let me make sure it's going to be tell me you guys tell me if this is a good position i think it's going to be good hopefully this is what you see on the screen so let me just pull up on the screen uh i won't be able to see your comments for a couple of minutes i'm just going to pull this up on the screen so i can see how it looks and then we will be good to go so let me just have a look we'll see what the screen looks like okay so let me go ahead and mark off the area where i'm going to be working here i'm just going to remove this stuff and I want to just mark where we are going to, I'm gonna to have to adjust this a little bit, I think, just so I can see the screen. Let me see if this is going the right way. You guys have to just bear with me for a little minute. Yeah, that's not too bad. So I'm just gonna fix this, make sure the lighting's good. Now see, we're in the middle of a little, one of those little bars there. So let me just fix this up. Yeah, that should be good, about, here okay and now I'm gonna put my hands here so I have to otherwise I can't see the screen so I have to adjust this so I can see where I'm working so that one's going to be about, <laughs> this is crazy we're gonna bring this one down and that one down a bit just so I can mark off the screen I think that one's good and then this one should be good as well and while you're while you're looking you could look at the zodiac signs while i'm fixing this up i think we should be good there so about there and then this one has to be moved over a bit and then over here oh a little more than okay we have to move this a little bit more and then this one has to be moved over here i think this is in an odd position but i think we'll be good yeah so this gets back here this is hilarious. I have to figure out a better way to do this every week. So if we bring that one over here, a little bit more. Okay, I think we're good. So I have to work in this area. This should be fun. So let's see who's hopping on. Uh, okay, okay, let me pull back the comments a little bit. We said hi to everybody. And hi, Connie, how are you? I'm in and out, fantastic. Oh, good to your 93 year old in-laws. Say hi to your in-laws for us. Yes, I like it. Okay, out of focus. So uh, hopefully the focus is going to be good. Unfortunately, with the iPad, focus goes in and out, but there's not much we can do about that. Um, today we're going to do the Scorpio, and I'll do like a simple symbol, and then I'll work on these for a little bit. And I also wanted to show you guys um, Ginger. 
Hi, Sarah. Ginger had recommended uh, something for me for rings and it just came in the mail. So I want to show you that. And then I'm going to get going on the, on the, um, uh, these uh, symbols. So this is the stepped mandrel that uh, Ginger had recommended that I get to do uh, rings. And so the cool thing about this is it's got all the sizes and then these are um, all more or less the same size between these two sections. I, I actually tested it. I measured with a little wire just to see, just to make sure that the the areas were the same between the between the the little notches and they are they're good they're they're really they didn't look like they they look tapered but they're not really they're not too bad and it comes with a stand so it comes with this stand and it also comes with this dowel and i i've always used wooden dowels for ring making so these are really cool i just got that one i love it fantastic so i'm gonna put i have an affiliate link for that, uh, I have to sign in. Oh, I'm not signed in. I can't. I can't post my affiliate link because I can't. I'm not signed into um, uh, on my account here. But I will. There is a link in some of the previous videos, and I will post a link uh, soon for that. So uh, my zodiac sign is Sagittarius. Yeah. Hi, Ralph from Sweden. How are you? So let's start with the simple uh, Scorpio sign, which is that one, which I've done before. And I was just going to show you guys, I did, I did all the um, symbols for the, uh, for the zodiacs in previous videos. So if you search my channel, you can find them. And I will just show you what I did before for the um, Scorpio. So let me just have a look. And you guys can let me know in the comments your zodiac sign. And next week I will be doing a different zodiac. So let me just look for this. Uh, Scorpio, I did a ring. Yeah, there it is. So here's the ring. Uh, I don't know if you can see it very well. Let me get back here. Oh, it's not supposed to play there, but let me just see. Yeah, so there's the ring, the Scorpio ring. And then I also did some live streams where I did the, um, where I did the, uh, the pendant as well. Hi Rita, how you doing? So here we go, here is the uh, Scorpio, but let's start with the simple one first, which is, it almost looks like the letter M. So let's go ahead and do that. I will get my pliers. So I have these pliers, which are the stepped uh, looping pliers. I have my smaller round nose pliers. I have some cutters. These are Zeron tools. This is Beadsmith and these are Beadalon. So I have quite the motley crew of tools here. And here's another Zeron one. So Limana says Scorpio, moon, Virgo moon and Aries rising. Wow, that's a lot of information. So all I know is I'm Sagittarius. And beyond that, I really don't know much else about, about um, zodiac signs. So let's go ahead and I'll just take a piece of the, let's use the 18 gauge for the simple one. And we'll have to use a thinner gauge for the other one because otherwise it's going to be really complicated. So here is the 18 gauge wire. I just cut about 10 inches or something. And... Let's just do a very simple Scorpio. So I will just leave a little bit on the end and then I'm going to take these ones and just decide, like these are different sizes. That's two millimeter, three millimeter, five, I think four, five, seven, nine, something like that. It says on the package. So now I'm gonna just bring this one down here like we're making an M. I'm gonna try to make sure that my hands are well centered uh, I've taped it out here, so we'll just make sure they're well centered. And then I have my flat pliers, and I'll just bend this to the back. So we're just gonna bend this one to the back. Give it a really push. When you want a sharp bend, just give it a really good push with your thumb. So bring it up. And the 18 is quite stiff. So it's good for, you know, if you want something to make something a little bigger and if you want it to hold its shape type of thing, 18 gauge is good for that. And then now we're going to take the round pliers again. So just decide on how big you want your loops. Let's try the bigger one. And if it's too big, we'll do smaller one. That one seems pretty good. So we're just going to bring this one around here, just like that. 
and then we're going to get our flat pliers again and bring it back up so give it a little push and back to these ones i love these looping pliers because you can get very even sized loops whereas the ones i used to use which used to be my favorite ones the black ones uh, you have to kind of guess as to the size of the loop so there is the um, m part and then we need to do the arrow part so to do the arrow we're just going to take this again bring this one around see if it's a good size loop uh, this is you know you can make that distance the size you want so there's just how it loops down there like you can even like maybe put it down a little bit more so it hangs down a little bit more you could definitely use your creative license with these to see you know the proportions and how you want it to look so there's sort of the basic m uh i also just got the flat nose zero umpires fantastic that's uh, been slowly getting them yeah no they're really great tools and i'm very grateful uh, to ginger for hooking me up with that brand because i i'm really enjoying these tools so now um the other uh Zeron one i have are the needle nose so these are just a little more pointy and We'll just take this one and wherever we want the end of the arrow so you want to bend it on an angle so hold it here bend it down and give it a good push there so it makes a nice sharp angle so we're going to bring that one down give it a good little push yeah it's definitely taken me a while to get used to these pliers because i've been using the same pliers for 30 years but i wanted to be able to recommend pliers to you guys so i'm happy with these this is a really good option so now we're going to push this one up push one, that one up there and so I'm pushing it to the front and you can see how we're forming that uh, arrow right so that one goes there and then we're going to make a bend to make the other side of the arrow so take that your needle nose works well for this so we've got that so now we've formed this little arrow and now this one we want to bring to the back so we're going to bring that one to the back and push that one right back and there you see sort of the the sign right here i'm just going to make sure i'm centered on here and then you have a couple of options you could just clip it there if you wanted to that would be fine but because when i make the pendants i like them to be like super solid i usually would go back and back up to the top so that's really depends on you how you want to finish it so if i take this and then i'm going to bend it maybe i should bring it over to show you guys okay we're going to go like that and then i want to bend it back at the back okay so we're just going to take this and bend that one down so it's like exactly behind that one and then i'll get the looping pliers again now i might not be able to access this one because it's like low down there so i could just use the slightly smaller size it's fine and then just slowly bring that one around here so the idea is you want that second wire to be hidden at the back so that's hidden at the back and then i'm going to loop it around the top again so we're going to loop it around here and then i want to be able to make a pendant so i'm going to just bring it up a little bit so we're going to got it like that and then we'll use the needle nose pliers again and just bring it straight up and if you're wondering about the focus it's still going in and out of focus i know ginger had suggested some uh, options to fix that and i i looked into one of her options but i haven't checked the other ones yet i just get so distracted so if it comes in and out of focus that's just the nature of the ios oh my goodness mimi just brought me a huge box in the mail from beetle on i am excited that is huge I received, I received a box this morning and I thought it was the Beetle on box and we started filming the opening video and then I'm like, this is not the Beetle on box, it was the stepped mandrel. So now, you guys, look out for a, a, a video later of me opening a huge box from Beetle on and I will, I will flash the, I will flash the iPod over there to see it. So, Gabby, new subscriber, thank you, thank you so much. And Miana, hey, good people just putting together. I order from my Etsy shop. Okay, that's random, but hello, hello, nice to see you. 
I hope you're having a wonderful day. And if you're interested in wire art and jewelry making, you're at the right place. So there we go. And now I'm just gonna bend that one to the back. And we're going to bring that one around, just around here. And if it's, if like I said, if you can't access it, use a smaller uh, part of the looping pliers, or if you have regular round pliers, it's fine. We're gonna bring this here. Hey, Ralph from Sweden, my father was from Denmark. <laughs> nice, yeah, lots of people from all over the world here. I just love it. So now what I'm doing is I've brought the wire to the back and I'm just following the shape so the wire is hidden at the back. And like I said, this is optional, but I like to do this because it makes the pendant a little bit more solid. So now we're gonna go back in with the looping pliers just to follow that shape. And if you need to bring it back up, you could either use the needle nose pliers or the round pliers. So now we are going to take the round pliers and bring them up. So you can see where we're going with this. There's our, uh, this is, I think I already did this one in another live stream, but it's always good to revisit. So that would be the pendant. And then from here, you want to wind this wire around here and try not to distort it too much. So just really hold it, bring this one around. Okay, and that's just going to like hold it in place at the top. This, this wire is very stiff. This is the 18 gauge. So if you have trouble with your hands, if you have any forms of arthritis or anything, you might want to stick with the 20 gauge because it's going to be just as solid because we've backtracked and made it quite solid there. So that's not a problem at all. So now I am going to get the, those are my round pliers. I've taped these off so I can remember which plier is which. So this is the needle nose. I'm going to bring that one down a bit. And now I just need a bead. So let me get my beads. This is the Scorpio. I'm really taking a long time with this very simple design, but it's okay. It's good to for you guys to see the steps and how it works. So now this is my favorite little pot of beads. I have my miracle beads and my um, cat's eye beads, hematite beads. These are all my favorites, some faceted beads. These are the ones I use for my work and they're just like all my favorites. So what color should we do for Scorpio? Does, does anybody know uh, the appropriate color for Scorpio? Let me know in the comments ASAP and I will choose a bead of that color. Marianne says she's, she is a Scorpio. That's fantastic. Very cool. So uh, what color guys? Let me know and I could choose like one of these fancy beads. I could choose a miracle bead. I can choose any one of these beads. Uh, so, Jaden, yay! Hey, Jaden. I'm gonna have a sip of water. I'm still waiting for the color, guys. Does that, do I have to? Do I have to Google it? Because I, I'm pretty sure it's a specific to, topaz, yellow, oh blue. So, which is the which is the official for for Scorpio? Is there an official color? Either purple or green. Okay, so we have four different colors. Uh, we need a consensus. So, somebody else uh, let um. Suggest a color and we'll see if we, and red. Okay, that's all the colors I think. And they, I have one vote for each of all of the colors except orange. So, may, so uh, I have to be so random. What a rye wrapping, I've learned from this channel. That's awesome. I'm so happy that you, um, that you find the channel useful because I love teaching. So if you guys can learn something from my channel, then my work on this planet is complete. So let me know what color would be good for for the Scorpio and we will just, or I'll just have to randomly select one. Let's have a look and see what we have. I love turquoise, but turquoise wasn't one of the suggestions. Amber was a suggestion. It's a water sign. Oh, it's, it's actually a water sign. Oh, well then maybe turquoise would be good if it's a water sign. What do you think of that? Is that one okay? Red. Mm. Let me say, oh, Mustafa's good at Google it for us. So let's put this one at the side and Mustafa will Google it. And I will, uh, Sharon Googled it. So Sharon, you Googled it and it's red? Because if it's red, I can see what I have. I have the red miracle bead there too, which would be good too. So let's just put that one there. And we'll just get the okay from Mustafa, the moderator, and then we will go. So now 
Let us look at the Scorpio there. I can't wait to do Virgo too. Virgo looks really sweet too. And uh, Julia, I understand most of that. Gracias. And thank you. Gracias at toi. Oh, that's French too. So that's not good. Deep maroon, black and brown. Interesting. Okay. I don't know if I have a maroon. I'm going to have to see about that. But I just wanted to show you guys, these are some old zodiac signs that I did. I don't know if there's a date on this, but I would say circa 1990 I made this 30 years ago. And uh, so here's the Scorpio that I did there. And I'll do something like a somewhat similar to that. We're going to see. And uh, look at the Virgo there. there she's, she's pretty cute too. So we're going to see what we can do for the Scorpio. So let's move this over. I googled. It's black. Okay, so I'm... Sharon also said red, like black. Yeah, Sharon said red, black, brown, all kinds of that. So there's different ones. I think a dark red would be really nice, but you know what? I don't have a dark red, but look at this. Oh, that's purple. That's not good. Yeah, I think most of these are like a purple. So let's just go with the red. Let's just go with red. I like miracle beads, so let's just do it. And Topaz is for Scorpio. <laughs> I'm just gonna use my favorite miracle bead. You guys can picture it. You can put any color you want. So let's just put the red one in there. And I am going to just bend this one to the side. If you wanna put it directly on, actually, if you wanna put it directly on a chain, you can do it perpendicular and that way you don't need a jump ring. So let's just do that. And you're gonna do your little loop. You can do a single or a double loop around here so say if you do want to do a double just do like that and then bring it around again you can do like a double loop this yeah this 18 gauge is very thick and then we're going to bring it around here bring that one around and there you have your that's really cute i like it so now let's yellow red cool tonya hi tonya sharon says aquamarine oh we've got two sharons on here nice sharon is the name of my best best friend from public school primary school i became friends with uh, my friend sharon in grade seven she saved me from the mean girls and we've been friends ever since so <laughs> that was awesome so here is scorpio nice so that's cool so team water ah interesting yeah so i'm gonna have to do some more research about these colors but for now we're just using my miracle bead so that's good so that's a very basic Scorpio. And now I want to do something like this uh, scorpion. So let's get for that uh, 20 gauge wire. It's going to be much easier to work with. Um, I could even use the tarnish resistant brass, which I, the reason I like the tarnish resistant brass, um, I always work with the artistic wire. I just really like the quality and the color and the resistance and, uh, and it doesn't tarnish, which is awesome. And I like the brass. I also have, um, oh, I have a few different wires. I have tin carp copper. These are similar in texture. They're a little stiffer. They bend really nicely. They make really nice sharp bends. Whereas the tarnish resistant uh, silver, which I also love, is softer. So this one's a little softer. And um, I, could, I could show you the difference. That's 22 and this one is, one, uh, that one's 18. Okay, this one is 20. And oh, I'm just sorry, I'm looking at all my my wires here. I thought I had okay, this is the brass tin copper. Sorry, I'm trying to find all these ones. Uh tarnish is silver, tarnish is silver. I thought I had another one of the tinned copper, but I don't see it. This is oh yeah, this is tin copper 20. There we go. Let's get all 20 gauge wires. So there we go. Now, um, ba -dum -ba -dum. so pretty. Thank you. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Oh, I wish I understood Spanish. Mary, Mary, can somebody please translate what Mary said? Hermoso, I think, is beautiful, but I don't know the rest. So Mary, gracias, but I don't understand that. So if anybody can translate Spanish, please. Translate Mary's comment and Narda looks great. I'm a scorpion. Nice Holland. Hello. I've been to Holland. I've been to Amsterdam three times. I love Holland 
Uh, so here's our tarnish resistant silver. So just to show you, tarnish resistant silver, nice and soft, does like a really nice, like soft bends. And you can bend it also on a right angle. She loves your work. Aw, thanks, Miana. That's so nice. Gracias, Mary. Aw, very nice. Oh, I'm so happy. I usually do Google Translate, but I can't access it right now. So, and then if you bend the tarnish resistant silver, that's how it looks like that. So that's that one. And then the tinned copper is a lot like the tarnish resistant silver. So we're just gonna cut a little piece. And uh, same thing, it's pretty flexible. You know, it's not as soft as the uh, tarnish resistant silver. And the color's a little bit different. It's a little more, looks a little bit more like metal, metal. Like this is more like, looks more like sterling. This looks just like more like a metal wire. But if you bend the tin copper, it makes a, I think it makes a little bit of a sharper bend. So there's the tin copper. And then the tarnish resistant brass, it's very springy. So you have to be careful because it'll spring back. It's, it's stiff. So if we take the, actually I'll take a large piece because I'm actually going to try the Scorpio with the tarnish resistant, or with the um, brass, tarnish resistant brass. So I'm going to cut a big piece. I'll cut a big piece of that and I'm holding it. I usually put the bead, uh, the spool uh, tamers on these, but I had got the spool tamers before I opened this um, spool and it already had gotten mixed up. So it was a little too late to put the spool tamer on there, but that's okay. So now I'm gonna just cut a little piece to show you the difference. I'm getting a little sidetracked here. So nice. Uh, Narda, Drenth is a lot nicer than Amsterdam. Okay, cool. I've, I've only been to Amsterdam, really. We drove a little bit on the outside, but and that was 30 years ago, so I'm sure things have really changed. So this is the brass, and same thing, you know, it gets a pretty good uh, swirl, uh, but it is it is a little stiffer than the tarnish-resistant silver. And then to bend it on a right angle, it makes a really nice bend, too. So. Uh, they're all really nice wires. I'm going to work with the brass just because the color is really nice too. So let's get rid of those and let's get our piece of the brass wire. And let's see if we can do the Scorpio. Um, oh boy, this is going to be a little intricate one. Hopefully I have enough wire. Hopefully I'm not going to have to add another piece, but I could do that if I have to. So, hi from Romania, Romania, nice, hello, hello, and don't forget to join the Discord group, thanks, uh, Mustafa, yeah, so after the live stream, I always hop over to Discord, and I'll take a picture of what I've made, and then I'll pop it in the Discord group, and you guys can share pictures of your work on Discord in the share your work section, or if you're working on things, the, uh, things from the live stream, you can share them in the post live stream section. So, and we're also due to do another episode of Let's Get Wired, where we all work on stuff at the same time and um, and then share pictures all live uh, while, I'm, while I'm live on YouTube. So one of these days, I'm gonna do another Let's Get Wired. I've just been really busy prepping the um, live wires for the win, which is starting filming next week. Uh, I will announce the uh, the participants of the Live Warriors for the Win in the next couple of weeks, and then the show is going to air uh, in September. So look out for that. That's going to be exciting. Um, hi, Terry and Tonya. Hi, Tonya from South Carolina. Cool and Peggy. Yay! No worries, Peggy. We're just um, we're just working on number two. We did this Scorpio uh, symbol like that, and then now we're just doing the scorpions so i am just going to figure out how i want to do this we're just gonna these are like sort of little eyes little symbolic eyes so that's kind of cool let me just bring this one out and then back down a little bit these these round nose pliers are really nice they're not quite as fine as my red ones but they're still really really good so now, yeah, Amber's not here today, so Mustafa's in charge, which is awesome, and I really appreciate that. And now we're just going to bring these out and do like the little, the little claws. So if we bring that one out here, 
Of course, getting them the same size is a little bit difficult and I don't want them to be too complicated. So, because you could get quite detailed with it, but I don't want to get it too, too complicated. And then you want this part to be sharp, right? So if you want it sharper, get your needle nose flyers and just bend this back and push it there. Okay, we're gonna bend it back and push it there. And then we are going to get the pliers in here and bring it up. Maybe it has to bring it up a little bit more. Yeah, we're just gonna bring this one up. Yeah, so you just want it to look, that maybe isn't as large as I want it to be. You can always adjust it, like bring that there and bring it around a little more just to make it a little bit larger. Okay, so hopefully we can see that around here and down here. Yeah, I haven't made this one probably in 30 years because that's when I made those last Zodiac ones. So we're gonna go like that and then flip it because it's always good to go back and forth and then bring this one down to bend it straight down. Okay, you could have done that with the flat pliers or the round pliers. Bring that one around and we're going to just bring that one out here Push that one up a little bit. A lot of people actually make scorpions out of wire. Like a lot of people have made them in our wire makers club on Facebook. I think there's sort of a technique that a lot of people use to make the wire wrap scorpions. I've never made one in that sort of traditional technique, but I always like to try to put my own spin on things. And, um, but definitely if you, if you Google or look on YouTube for scor wire scorpion tutorials. I bet you can find that more traditional scorpion, which is really cute uh, when people make them as um, as like just little ornaments that sit on your table. I've seen those before; they're really cute. And uh, but I've never tried it sort of in that more traditional manner. So now we're going to bend this one to the back, hoping these are going to be more or less the same size. Bring that to that. So Judith, hi Judith from Houston, Texas. Nice. I have never been to Texas. I bet it's nice there. And uh, there we go. We're gonna bring this one around here. And then we're going to, see this is a, maybe a little small, but that's okay. It's I'm not gonna worry about the scale being perfect. And then we wanna bend it back. So we're gonna bend this one back here and then around and I think I'm gonna have to take off my sweater I am starting to heat up here all right we have AC uh, we have a heat pump but uh, when it's uh, just before it kicks in it gets a little bit warm so let me just remove my sweater because I am too warm so there we go perfect sweater off so now let's keep going with this and finish the little claws around here, gonna make sure I stay in the screen. So, so far we've got, there we go, he's cute, hello. So we've got our little guy, we can bend these in a little bit more. Yeah, these should maybe be bent in a little bit more, but that's okay. You can like do it any kind of shape you want. So there's our little claws, pretty basic. Let me just compare it to what I did before. Okay, so, Love your keychain, Mustafa. Yeah, Mustafa made some beautiful keychains on, um, I saw them on Instagram. Yeah, you tagged me. They're really, they're really cute, Mustafa. Those would be very, very popular, I'm sure. If you, uh, if you were selling those, I'm sure you'd do very well with them. So yeah, so here's our little guy so far. And then we have to do our little legs sticking out the side. But I also was wanting to do some kind of little texture on his Back. So let's see what we can do about that. I'm going to bring this one in. So if we bring, because they've got like these scales on them, right? So what if we just brought that one over here? I don't know if it's going to work or not. We're going to just try it because I always like to make things a little bit different than I've done in the past. So let's just see if we can do that. Bring that one in around and try to make some kind of scale thing. So if that goes like over to each side. And then the leg things kind of go down and up. So let's, I don't know if this is gonna make sense. Let's see, if, we, if this goes down and up, okay. 
And this one too, it goes down and up. Might have been easier to add the legs after, but for now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with this, see what happens. And then these legs are like just super like simple, right? They're just like little simple little little lines like that. And then we're gonna bend them back on on themselves. So which way do we want to bend them? We're going to just bend them kind of that way and then that way. Let's see if this is going to work. So we're going to bring that one in, bring those up. This one too, we're going to just bend this one up. These might not be long enough, but that's okay. It's just a matter of getting the technique. Give a thumbs up if you like it. <laughs> uh, what do you mean that Mustafa on Instagram? Yeah, I definitely, I definitely like them. Yeah, I think you put them in your reels, eh? Was that, was that it? I'm still kind of getting to know like these new features on Instagram. I think I did one or two, whoops, I did one or two reels, but um, I also tried a little bit of TikTok, but I find uh, it just takes a lot of time to do all that stuff. I think you have to like pick and choose uh, what sort of social media platform you want to focus on. So what I focus on is YouTube a uh, little bit Instagram and Pinterest. So those are my those are my favorite ones. Pinterest, if you are a YouTuber or if you have an Etsy shop, uh, I would highly recommend using Pinterest because Pinterest will bring a lot of traffic to your to your shop and to your uh, website and to YouTube. So uh, yeah, Pinterest is is one of my faves. So there we go. So let's just go in there and we're just going to try to keep going with this. So then I'm not sure if this is, I just had another idea. Hmm, should I do it now? It's, I'm kind of like in the middle of this. So maybe I'll just keep going with this, but I just had another idea for something different to do that I'm gonna try next. So are you gonna post this live later today? Yes, absolutely. So always the live streams are available to rewatch um, pretty well right after they, right after they, um, right after they air. So you can rewatch the replay anytime and you can also fast forward to the parts that you wanna watch. So that's that's good. So now I, just trying this idea where we're just gonna keep going down with it like that. And, oh, am I doing this right? Yeah, and then this one, go up here. I'm not sure I'm loving this, but we're just going to try it. So we're going to go up here. I might just do three of them just to see how it goes. So we've got that one. And then this one's going to go down. Yeah, this is getting very, very complicated. So then this one will go over here, over here, and then this one over here. And I'm just gonna do three legs because otherwise it's gonna get super complicated. But I just had an idea to, for another way to do this. And we're gonna see if that's gonna work because this isn't quite working. TikTok does three minute videos. Wow, oh my goodness, yeah. I started and stopped TikTok, uh, I would say five times. I, I did one for my comics. I did one for um, a few for my wire. And I just, I really, um, I have a whole bunch of one minute videos on there, but I'm, I think I'm not gonna waste my time with it because I really prefer YouTube. So this looks a little silly, but that's okay. We're just gonna go like that. And then what we wanna do now is to do the tail. And I think for the tail, I'm just going to, what do I wanna do? I just, I think I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna play around with this, guys. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm, where I'm going with this, but I'm just gonna put these together, bring this one up, and then maybe I'll do kind of a, you can almost do a wire weaving thing. We're just gonna see. So, hi, Lana. And we're going to bring this one, bring this one around. Oh yeah, this is, this is not what I wanted to do with all this, but this is what you call like, this is how you troubleshoot designs. You know, you just go with it. Even if it, even if it's you're hitting a, even if you're hitting a dead end, even if it looks like garbage, you're just gonna keep going with it. And sometimes it'll work out. 
and if it doesn't work out you will have learned something so there we're, there we go so just for fun I'm just going to take this wire and I think bend it back around here so let's just try that we're going to bend this wire this is going to look really silly but it's fine so let's just go around here and it's in doing stuff like this that I might learn something along the way so we'll see okay TikTok, TikTok is banned in India. Yeah, I know that um, Donald Trump wanted to ban it in the States, but I don't know what happened with that. Anyways, it's, um, I don't think it's banned in the States. I think it's, I think it's certainly in some countries it is, but, uh, but I just, uh, yeah, I just didn't catch on to it. It's sort of like Snapchat, like some people really caught on to it and it was really popular for a while, but I think Snapchat kind of, kind of died. So I don't think it, it's a thing anymore so this looks oh this looks terrible but that's okay let's just fit let's just finish it and then we'll go from there I do not know I do not like what I did with the tail so already I'm gonna like backtrack on the tail so yeah they tried to in the states that's what I thought so um but didn't succeed so let's just remove these did not work out well I don't like the way that's pulled back on there so let's just remove that and we'll do something else with that. So now I'm gonna need the needle nose pliers to take that wire. Oh, there's the AC now, that's better. Okay, so let's just take this, remove it. I do not like the way that looks. It doesn't look like anything. So let's just take it off all the way back and then we'll figure out something else because I wanna try something else for the body as well. So let's just take that and give it a little clip perfect and then pinch that in so that's just a basic thing and then we're going to need the tail and we're just going to do a tail like that so let's just take that it looks like a cartoon <laughs> oh my goodness i do not know where i'm going with this but it's fine let's just play with it and then we're going to go up here up and because I, I kind of do want to do one that looks a bit like a cartoon, but this one just did not look like anything. So we're just going to go in here and I like TikTok, but it's not a great platform. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, it's not my thing. I have a friend, he's a singer. His name is Ben Griffin and he's actually also a um, teacher. So he teaches music. So for him, it's great because he can reach his students, especially during the lockdown. So he could reach his student and give lessons on, on um, TikTok. And also he, years ago, he was on Canadian Idol, which is like American Idol, but uh, for, for Canadians. But I mean, he's, that was when he was younger. And now he's like sort of all grown up and doing the adult thing. And, but this is a great platform for him to reach his students and stuff. So yeah, this is a bit of a mess, guys. So let's just call this an experiment, like definitely an experiment, and let's try something else. So uh, that's true. Yeah, if you have a shop, uh, it's probably a good way to promote your work. So that might be a better approach for me because I've been trying to use it for tutorials. But actually, Gabby, that's an amazing idea. Thank you so much for that idea because I never thought of that. And I think I'm going to try that for my Etsy shop. I think it's a good idea because we do a lot of wedding cake toppers. And I'm sure I could find a fun way to pr promote uh, our stuff on Etsy. So yay, Gabby. I'm going to write that down because I might forget. So I will get a pen and write that down. And on the back, I'll just write Gabby and then TikTok. Etsy. Thank you. Fantastic. So now, hi, Ashita. Uh, I have to say this is a cuter version of the real Scorpio. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. It's, it's kind of funny, but what I want to try is what if we did something for the body and kind of went from there. But I'm going to just start with the head again, I think, because I think I like the head. So let's go ahead and start. Let's go ahead and start the head. So we're just going to get the eyes. You could even use little beads for the eyes. And we're going to do this again. And the thing about these live streams is not, things don't always work out. So 
if I get to the end of the live stream and we have nothing that worked, I'll be a little sad, but that's okay. You know, it, it just happens. It's, it's uh, the luck of the draw. And at least we have a basic Scorpio sign that worked quite well, so that's good. Now, the other thing I'm thinking is, why don't I do these together so the arms will be the same size? Let's try that. That's another thing we can try. So if we just take these, bend this back, and then that way, and then, uh, which way do they have to go? Back, I guess, that way, and then around there, and then we're gonna get the flat pliers to bend it that way. Oh, thanks, Mustafa, for posting the Facebook group. That's awesome. Yeah, we have a very large, very active, amazing Facebook group called the Wire Makers Club, and you guys can share pictures of your work. Uh, just keep in mind, there's absolutely no selling in that group, and uh, you have to answer the four questions, moderation questions, before um, you go in the group, because we have pretty strict rules about that, but it works it's a win-win for everybody because it means that we just share beautiful inspirational stuff and uh, we have people of all levels in there not just professionals uh, at all like a lot of people of many different levels sharing their beautiful work in the group and so yeah for sure join the wire workers club it's awesome sharon uh hi sharon awesome video thank you it's um it's a process trying to get these designs to work but they're fun for sure so we're going to bring this one down here i'm trying to think in advance how i'm going to do the body i have an idea i don't know if it's going to work okay this one ended up being on the wrong side no that's the right side so now we're going to bend this one to the back so we're just going to hold that flip it around to the back bend it down yeah, I love these live streams because I just play around with this stuff and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So now we're going to do this, bring that one around. Okay, here. And eventually I'll do all the zodiacs. So we've done two so far. We did Leo and we did another one before Leo. And um, I'm having a bit of a mind blank here. Which one? We did Gemini. Yes, we did Gemini. Now I remember. We did Gemini and Leo. And so next week, depending on what the poll says, we'll do another one next week. So we're going to see. Do you sell any of your pieces? I do sell my work on Etsy. Heather Boyd Wire is the Etsy shop, but it's not the same work that I do tutorials for. The, the work I do in the tutorials is a little more generic, and it's stuff that anybody, if anybody wants to make them and reproduce them, they can. Uh, whereas the work on Etsy is, um, uh, it's all copyrighted work that I sell. I've been selling to stores for, and to, you know, wholesale and retail for 30 years. So those, those designs aren't ones that I do uh, tutorials for. But if you're interested in buying some work, you can definitely uh, visit my Etsy shop. That would be amazing and much appreciated. So now we're just going to bring this, this one just... I have to rebend it a little bit. It's not quite right. So we're gonna just bring that one over a little bit. And yeah, mostly in my Etsy shop, it's wedding cake toppers and uh, funky jewelry. So uh, so that's really fun. So now here's our little guy, he's cute. Oof. And now what I was thinking, let me draw it first because I'm not sure this is going to work. Uh, you'll, get, <laughs> Sharon says, you'll get it, Miss Heather. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. So here's, our little guy. Maybe I'll do it on the back. Okay, I'm going to do it on the back just to do some sketches. So what I was thinking, I don't know if it's going to work, if we come back here, so we've got that, and we've got that, and that, and I was thinking, what if we just do this part first, okay? Let's do the legs after, and I was thinking like something kind of like that type of thing. That might be interesting. And these are more oval shapes, so I would have to do something. Let's see if we could do something like that. Okie dokie. So, Pipea, this is art. So, anything you make is a work of art. Aw, thank you. Yeah, it will definitely be unique. That's guaranteed. So, now, let's try that idea to make it a little bit more like scales. So, which is the front? That's the front. So, that's. I'm going to just bring these ones. I think to the back. So whatever is your longer wire, just go ahead and bring this one around 
And I was gonna maybe try to wrap it around a form, but I don't want them to be round, round either because they're more oval. So that's the trouble is when you do things on a round form, they'll end up being a little bit more like too regular looking. So let me see what I did with my picture. Yeah, so what if we just bring this one around? Do I have to bring it out a little bit? We can go in and out a little bit maybe. We're gonna just, or maybe just keep it simple. Let me just see, I can always fix it after. So we're gonna bring this one around. I'm gonna keep going towards the back, but you want these to become narrower, smaller, each time. So let's just try that. So we're going to go down there and then a little smaller. Every time you go down, you're going to get a little bit smaller. So we're going to bring that one down here. I hope my, you can just show your design drawing. Yeah. So here's the design. I can leave it here. And so we just kind of went down, 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 down. It's almost like a spring. Uh, you could maybe almost do a spring, except I need larger gaps between each one. So let's just keep going down like this. I kind of like the way that it looks. It's a little bit stiff, but that's okay. So we're going to bring this one down here and down here. I kind of like the way it looks. It's got like that texture to it, right? So how far down do I want to go? Oh, I don't have to go too far down, I think, because... Yeah, actually, maybe that was too much. Yeah, it was maybe. And then we're going to go like right down to get the tail. That's the thing. So four might have been a bit too much, but we can always like kind of bring them in together a little more. That's the thing. You can always take these and push them up a little more if it ended up being a little bit too long. You can just push these up. A little bit yeah so that's kind of interesting I like it and then we're going to bring this one in and do the tail so let's just bring this one right down and then the tail sort of is the same a little bit the same idea but it is very much smaller so uh, one you showed in the starting starting you mean this one right yeah, so that was, this is the original sketch. Yeah, so we're just going with this here and I think I'm gonna add the legs after. And this one's also good, this one's simple too. So let's see what we're doing with that. I'll just move them for now so they're not in focus and I'm trying to focus on this. So we're gonna bring this one down and then we're gonna do like sort of the, if we do a the tail thing. The tail seems to be in larger sections, I think. I should probably have a picture of a, of a scorpion, but I'm just going to do these sections a little bit longer just for contrast. I mean, maybe they should also be um, closer together, but I'm just going to do a few like this just to see. So we're going to go around like this, bring this one around, and just slowly, we want it to curve, right? So we're gonna bring that one around here, that one around here a little bit, and this one here. Ooh, maybe that's too long. So we're gonna bring that one up here. This is just fun. I'm just having fun with that. And then we're gonna do one more. These should probably have been narrower. I might be able to squish them in a little bit after but for now, it's okay. So we're just gonna bring these ones in here. It's kind of funny, but that's okay. I like it. So so there's those, and you could probably squish them in a little bit. So let's get some flat pliers and maybe squish them in a little bit. Just a little, just because I'm finding them a little bit um, wide, but it's fine. I should probably be looking at a scorpion for this, but I'm just playing around with it. So there's that one. And then we want to curve the tail a bit. Oh, these are needle nose. That's okay. I was going to get my round ones, but that's okay. These are the needle nose. And so, yeah, so it kind of goes around like that. It's interesting. They look a little bit like building blocks, but that's okay. 
You're making serious. I love the scorpion signs. Cool. Nice. Oh, I keep pulling the wrong pliers. Here's the round ones. So we're going to do that. Bring these in a little bit more. Round there. Get in there. Perfect. And perfect. So there we have what looks like the scorpion so far. But now I have to think about those legs and how I want to do them. And if I want to do them with a separate wire, I think I might just for the sake of doing something different than what I did on the first one. So if we bring this one around here, I think I'm going to go ahead. I should have maybe done this in the first place. I'm going to twist this out a bit because what I want to do is maybe bend it on here so it's holds in place. Otherwise, I mean, I could just do that and around. Maybe that's going to be better. So like, what if we bring this one in here and then I'm going to bend this one out a little bit. Okay. Hi, Chiara from Malaysia. Nice. I have a girlfriend that's from Malaysia. She lived in Singapore for many years and her family lives in Malaysia. She hasn't been home for a couple of years. So now we're going to just hold that in place. See if that's going to hold. This, you want that this other wire to be slightly hidden. So I'm just trying to make it like more hidden behind there. And then what I can do is take it and wind it around that end to hold it in place. So now let's just hold this, take these pliers, bend it over. And then I always like to help it a little bit with the round, those aren't the round pliers, with the round pliers. Okay, and we're gonna twist this one in place. So there's our beginning parts. Already looks much better than the first one. And then we're gonna clip it for Mustafa, because he likes it when I say clip it. And we're going to pinch that one. And now what we want to do is take this end. Actually, I think it could even be more curved up a little bit. So a little curved up a little bit. And now we're going to take this end, bend it and make the other, make the other um, claw thing at the end. I'm not even sure what that claw thing looks like. Let me just get a picture of a scorpion because I'm not 100% sure what that tail part looked like. And I think it's like flat across. I think the one I did in the sample before wasn't so nice. Uh, reminds me of that lady. Yeah, yeah, she was funny. It was another YouTuber that I think she was sewing, right? I think that was it. She was um, sewing and she kept saying clip it. And I thought it was so funny. I should, I should put a link to her video in the community section. Did you ever see her video, um, Mustafa? Because it was very, very funny. Okay, so what do these scorpion tails look like? Oh, they're like weird little gooby things. I'm not sure. Huh. Yeah, if you look on, that's interesting. It's like a little, it's like a little teardrop thing. That's interesting. Yeah, I, if you guys wanna look on Google, and see what the scorpion tail looks like. It doesn't look at all like what I thought. I was drawing, I think I was drawing a lobster tail. It's not a lobster, it's a scorpion. The tail has longer sections. Yeah, yeah, so that's fine. Yeah, you could definitely do these longer, but the tail, it looks like it has like a little pokey kind of raindrop looking thing in it. So I'm just gonna do that because I think what I did before was a lobster. I guess maybe I used to think that the scorpion sign was a lobster, so that's <laughs> that's how much I know about about uh, zodiac signs. So there we go. Definitely, yes, that's more the shape you don't want to miss. Okay, cool, nice. So let's do this, and then even if these are longer, you guys, if you make one, you can definitely tweak that. So let's just make this looks like sort of a pointy kind of teardrop looking thing. So let's just do it that way. And then we're going to hold this with the flat pliers and take this and bend it around. So what you can do is, so this doesn't flip back and forth. I like to jump over that and bring it around. And then that holds that wire in place. So let's go ahead 
and cut that. The tail should be in three to four sections. So one, two, three, four. So there's four and maybe they have to be bigger. So if you guys make one, uh, you can definitely um, look at a picture on Google to see. And like I said, there's, de there's other ways to make scorpions that are more um, kind of stylized, but this is sort of the idea. He's an awfully cute scorpion. He doesn't look too scary at all, but he needs legs. So now let's go ahead and get some thinner wire and make the legs. Although I don't know if I have any thinner brass. Maybe I could just use this one and figure out how to do the legs because oh, there's some shedding. So if we have the legs sticking, see if you could solder them, that would look really cool. I just want them to look very simple. So for the legs, what do I want to do? I could just go ahead and um, see what if we did like that one there. I'm just going to play around with it. I can always remove this after, but if we did like this type of thing and I'm going to cut this. I just want to try something different so we'll see so we're going to do this one and bring this uh, do you have a tutorial on your infinity ring yes i do um maybe mustafa can find it and uh, there's a tutorial for if you look up uh, infinity ring i did a couple i did one i think that was just the ring but i also did one that you can make it out of paper clips so if you want to make a infinity ring out of paper clips uh, I have that too so now this it's just hard to get these like really pulled tight so I'm going to get my regular flat pliers I'm going to pull this and really like tug on it so we're going to tug on that and then pinch that one in um yeah this this one's sticking up a little bit but that's okay I love that little scorpion. It came with great. Yay, thank you. Ooh, earring would be cute. Yeah. So let's just try. I'm trying to add those. Yeah, those are the right ones. I'm trying to add the legs with a separate wire, but I'm not sure if this is a great idea. But you can kind of do a combination of different, different ideas. I, the reason I like this is because they're a little bit more um, delicate. I'm not sure I like this at all, but that's okay. Let's just try it. And we're going to do this one. The video infinity ring. Thank you, Mustafa. You are on it. I really appreciate that. That's awesome. So now let's do this one here and go this way. Which way? This way. And that one goes. Yeah. So if we put this one in here and this one's going to go out that way. I have to stay on screen here. Bring this one out here, and then this one around to this side, and then we wanna bring it into another one of these. So let's bring this one in here, and take our needle nose pliers, and we wanna bring it into this one here. So we're gonna bring it in here, right in there, bring it around, and push this in place so now we have that one and that one so we have those ones there this part's getting a little bit distorted I'm not sure I'm liking these legs but this is just to show you and I didn't oh I didn't even wrap it in the right in the right area so let's bring this one back and out okay and then back into this one and I'll after the live stream I'll, I'll definitely you know keep working on this design to see if there's anything that we can tweak to make it a little better I find these legs are a little bit strange so there we're going to bring that one around here so but that's the nature of making new designs is you come up with a lot of duds before you come up with the good ones so there's that uh those two let's just keep going with this because you never know what it's going to look like until we're done so let's do one more we'll do one more leg and then we'll see how it looks so judith sorry i meant three to four sections more okay so i'm gonna have to definitely look at some 
images and see what happens. Personally, I'm in awe of your work. It's incredible that you can just improvise. Aw, thank you so much. Uh, I really, really enjoy it. It's just, I love the creative process. That's why I always love doing kids' workshops because kids are so creative. I used to teach at libraries and schools and daycares and, and the kids have such amazing ideas that always kept me inspired. So I just, um, I'm a lifelong learner. I love learning new things. I'm not afraid to make mistakes. So that's that's the lovely thing about these live streams is um, you guys are incredibly patient to watch me fumble, but sometimes we come up some with some really neat things. So that's cool. And we're working together. So that's that's great. When you guys give me ideas, I really appreciate it. So now we're going to pull this tug, pinch it so it stays in place. Pinch that one. And I'm just going to do three. I used to teach. Yes. Yeah. Teaching is so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's really very, very um, inspiring. So now, so that's kind of interesting. It has a little texture there. You kind of lose sight of those scales a little bit. Um, but the thing is, I wanted to put them in the scales because that way it, um, it holds it together a little better. So this is, this is something that's the work in progress. We're not sure if that's like sort of something I would want to do. Makes it a little bit complicated. And then the other option was to go back and forth with the wires like that. So now let's go ahead and bend these up. A little bit and or we can start by cutting them to all about the same size so say we cut them to about maybe there cut them flush you can always file the ends you can file those you can use a reamer and just like um, or they I don't know if they're called reamers or bead um, wire burr things or something Amber told me the name of them and now I forget what they're called but it's just a little tool to soften your ends. And I have one in my little basket here. I'm just gonna try to find it. It's got a little wooden handle. I hear, uh, is this it? Uh, no, that's an embossing tool. That's not it, but it looks like that. So let me see, if, oh, here it is. Okay. Did you find your bike? No, I haven't found my bike necklace, but thank you for asking, I have to find it. It's somewhere. I Maybe I left it at my parents' house. Maybe I left it um, somewhere. I'm not sure. I looked under my bed. I couldn't find it. So I'll keep looking. But thanks for asking. A burr cup. Thank you, uh, Amber. And Connie says, cup burr. Awesome. Or the end. You could file it, too, with a file. So here's the burr cup. And we're just going to put that on the end. This seems like a good size for 20 gauge. And then you just kind of go around like that just to soften the ends a little bit. So now you can also get electric ones, which is cool. So now what we want to do is take these ends and bend them around a little bit. So we're just going to bend these. Oh, this is maybe too, maybe these are too long now. I'm just going to see if these might be a little too long. We're going to see. So if we just bend that one down and up a bit, down and up and down. I could trim them a little more. Yeah, maybe I'll trim them a little more. Down and up. And then this one too. We'll just flip it over, down, and up, and down and up, and down and up a little bit. But these look cool because they're not too um, thick, you know? You want them to be quite fine. I think I will trim them a little bit. I find them a little bit long so we can trim those and then this one too we're going to trim it a little bit that one and that one and that one so that one's pretty good i accidentally got the one you attach to a drill oh yeah that can happen too so there we go i'm just going to um those are the wrong ones let's get the flat ones so yeah, so this is kind of interesting. It's certainly better than this monstrosity that I don't even know what to do with that. I think I'll probably just get rid of that. But this one's kind of interesting. So what's the front and what's the back? That would be the front. So we have that one. And then the other idea is you can just do something like a little simple one 
like that would be very, you know, very interesting too, just a simple one. But I think that's going to be good for today, guys, because it's already like 2.15. So oh, we only made two things, wah. But that's okay. We, we worked out a lot of, a lot of issues. And um, you could definitely look up uh, tutorials for scorpions on uh, YouTube to find some other things. And that was it. So did you on your drill? Okay, yeah, you can maybe put it in your regular drill. It's true. You can put one of those little bits on the regular drill. You could definitely do that too. So this is, this is what we have for today for Scorpion. Uh, if I come up with some other little ideas, I'll post them in the community section. Next week, we will do another um, live stream for the Zodiacs. I'm just going to flip my screen so I could say goodbye to you guys. Let me just pull that one up. There's our front yard. Not our front yard, the neighbor's front yard. So there we go. And I do have some Aries. Hi, guys. This is awkward with the I pod ipad but that's okay usually i use my i i um pod but this is this is okay it's just you're much closer on the ipad i think so yeah so i do have some tutorials for aries rings and aries pendants i'll link up all the tutorials for the other zodiacs in the um, description i will uh, link up anything we talked about uh, links in the description as well and also you can hop over to uh, Discord now and I'm gonna take a picture of these and put them in Discord. They only have three skinny legs on both sides. Okay, so that's good. So I did the three legs, that's perfect. Cause some pictures I saw they had four, uh, but if, if they only have three, that's much better. That's awesome. So uh, thank you Mustafa so much for moderating. Whoa, whoops, I just dropped you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Mustafa, for moderating the chat and uh, putting all the links and everything. Uh, you can, you guys can hop over to Discord now and uh, I'll share a picture of these. You can share pictures of your work on Discord as well. And we will see you really soon. And uh, stay tuned. I'm going to announce the participants of Live Wires for the win coming up really soon and starting filming that next week. So that's super exciting. And uh, have an amazing day and night, and we'll talk to you guys soon.